Starnet 9.1 is getting a lot of attention for the new Ultimate Edition with its command line interface and increased station limit, and for the addition of all the data conversion utilities to your Starnet Pro or Ultimate license. But there are some nice improvements across all Starnet editions in version 9.1. The replace and go to commands, which both disappeared in version 9.0, are back. The replace command is great for correcting systematic errors like incorrect point codes or pole heights. A progress bar has been added during certain potentially long operations such as opening files and running adjustments. When working with large or complex data sets this gives a better visual indication that something is happening and it also gives you an opportunity to cancel the operation if needed. Starnet 9.0 introduced inline error messages that make it faster and easier to locate bad records. For example, by adding a .2D I can make it generate a bunch of errors. This has been expanded in version 9.1 by extending it to also cover warning messages. see that the warnings are orange as opposed to the errors which are red. A browse button has been added to the data input files panel that will open up a file explorer window to the currently selected file. This improves manual file management, for example if you want to get to your files because your raw field data or CAD drawings are located in the same or nearby folder makes that much faster and easier. You can also now copy a file's path and file name as text into your clipboard by right-clicking on any of the files in the data input file list. This makes it faster to look up file locations, for example maybe you want to copy and paste a file name into a data file or into an email to a colleague. And as always we've made some good fixes which are all detailed in the release notes online.